Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are just new, um, don't forget to click subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so that you will be updated with all my videos. Okay, so today I'm gonna be sharing about the word glass ceiling. Okay, what does, um, what is glass ceiling? Glass ceiling, uh, is an unofficial acknowledgement or acknowledged barrier to advancement in a profession, especially affecting women and members of minorities. Okay, um, long time ago we have this kind of um situation in the Philippines. Na um hindi na bibigyan ng ng acknowledgement ang effort ng mga babae, like um parang uh, women are just made for the house, parang we are just created to uh bear a child and uh, stay ka lang sa home, hindi ka pwedeng mag-aral, hindi ka pwedeng mag-trabaho, yun lang ang role mo. Uh, mag-asawa, magka-anak and be the family uh, mother of uh, or the, yeah, mother of the family and sa ibang mga bansa din like Japan and other countries ganito din, like uh, sa mga trabaho, they were not given any chance na magkaroon ng higher position or they are just normal employees ganyan, uh, they are not given a chance na ipakita na uh, kaya din nilang maging head or maging manager or ganyan, uh, team manager like that, supervisor. Kasi nga, uh, yan yung tinatawag na glass ceiling. Yan, glass ceiling. Traditional kasi na, 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 na ugali. Okay? That was taken long time ago. Yan, so, nowadays in the Philippines naman, we, our government, uh, how do you call that? Um, adopt yung uh, GST, GST, gen gender sensitivity, uh, training, <laughs> and God, or uh, we usually call it God, uh, parang GAD, uh, gender equality actually yan. Uh, so sa mga government offices, meron actually yan part ng activities, talagang talagang ano yan, uh, sinisetan nila ng 5% of the um, gross fund or gross budget ng isang agency. Uh, yan ang ini-invest sa gender sensitivity activities, uh, training, planning, everything. Basta about gender uh, sensitivity. Okay. Yan. So, in the Philippines now, uh, hindi na nangyayari yan because women can now do, uh, uh, pa, lalo na sa leadership, uh, uh, kaya na rin ng mga babaeng ipakita na, um, you know, uh, we can do uh, like men can do. Parang ganun. Yan. So, barrier kasi yan dati. Long time ago na, ay naku mga babae, hindi kayo pwede. Parang ganun. So, um, buti nakat na yung ganun na issue sa Philippines and also sa Japan I think okay na rin sila sabi nga ng isang uh, na rename ko minsan uh, depende yan sa boss, sa manager, tsaka sa mga higher ups kasi and sa position as well sabi niya um, pwede naman na ngayon uh, mag advance uh, ng career ang mga Japanese women sabi niya and so that's a good good idea, good news also. Kasi uh, we know in our minds, in our hearts, that women can, uh, some women can do more or far better than men. Um, of course, there are some areas that men can do better also. Yeah, so gender equality lang naman. Ang ibig sabihin ng glass ceiling. Or glass ceiling is uh, uh, an officially acknowledged barrier. Yan. Uh, may barrier na nangyayari before. But now, oh, we are thankful na wala na. So, yun lang po ang gusto kong i-share uh, to all of us. Uh, maybe, not a new word, but uh, uh, common situations. Hindi lang natin alam yung, yung term for that. It's called glass ceiling. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. Have a wonderful uh, day ahead of you. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.